this big. 15 pounders. You guys ready? Hey everybody, I'll tell you what, you know this water that we're fishing is like crystal clear. You can see down just by looking down the hole. Um, if you're in a shack, that's probably, we're in about 30 feet of water right now and you can see the bottom like nothing. So definitely very important to have a fluorocarbon leader. And I did have a leader on here, but it was only about four foot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie up another leader. I'm actually gonna go with eight pound. I know that Pat, uh, and them guys are using 12, but I'm gonna go with eight, and I'm gonna go with probably about an eight to 10 foot leader. Hey Hunter, I, I got a giant fish on. I'll tell you what, I just, I've been marking them the last couple of minutes. I'll tell you what, everybody, you know, we started this at 4.30 this morning, and this is the first actually bite I've had. I've marked probably about seven, eight fish all day today. This is definitely feels like a good fish. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, oh. I know it's a big fish. jerky minnow the chub holy man look at that everybody now this is what it's all about you know what you might not come up here and get a lot of bites but I'll tell you when you're looking for an absolute giant and this is definitely a giant this is definitely the place you want to come you know what I was working that fish he came in came out a couple times on the vexlar and finally he came in and I just decided to keep winding up and he followed that thing right up and absolutely smashed that turkey jerky chub. Look at that thing. Hoo, 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 hoo. I am loving it. Awesome. Wow, what a fish. This is definitely one of the biggest walleyes that I have caught ice fishing for sure. You know, a lot of guys go to Lake Erie, but I'll tell you something. You know what? We've got some absolutely great walleye fishing here in Wisconsin and and Michigan, and that is absolutely a giant. Look at that. Woo! Hey, I'll tell you what, I got it on my Customs Mags rod, and what an awesome fish. And that's what it's all about, having the right rod for the right bait. And when you're catching, when you're looking for giant fish, this is the way to do it. Look at that. It finally happened. Did you get one too? No, oh. you did though. Yeah, I know. That's a freaking nice that's one. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Let's get this big girl back in where she goes, and boy, I'll tell you, that is definitely a fish of a lifetime right there for most anglers. There you go, girl. Out of here. Woo! That's what it's all about. You know something? A fish like that definitely deserves to live, and back down she goes, and we're going to rebait and see if we can catch another one. Top of the morning. Ready to go? I'm ready to go. Hey, Buckaroni, Buckaroo, are you uh, finally ready to rock and roll? I've been waiting for you. Hey, you've been waiting my BS, TS, and DS because uh, I've been up since uh, 4 o'clock, which is Michigan time is 3 o'clock your time. Rain yesterday, 20 degrees today, everything is iced up but we're still going. How's it going out there? It's a little windy. I like the wind. Keeps the riffraff out. Well, I aggressively jig until I, I see a fish on the screen and then I just slowly pop it and just pull it away from them. 
usually they eat, but it's been pretty tough today. And even finding the fish today has been tougher than uh, it has been recently, but it only takes that one fish. It's usually not a numbers game out here. We're searching for, you know, a couple trophy fish, 30 plus inch fish, so you're not gonna catch, you know, a bunch of them, but. Hang on to your hiney, we're about to get hooked up. Hey, I'll tell you what, everybody, it is super windy out here. Just marked a decent fish here. Uh, just the last 10 minutes, um, the wind is so strong, but the last 10 minutes, actually, the current changed. Get my back slider out of the way. The current changed and definitely started marking a lot more fish. Oh, there he is, yep. Not a giant, but still, a, that's a really nice fish right there. It's in that, you know, that 22, 24 range right there. Just a great, and what I love too is just the coloring on these fish. They're so beautiful for sure. That's the cool part about fishing up here in this deeper, clearer water. This is definitely a, a cool way to fish. You know, I'm just moving that herky jerky. And I'm going to show you guys here in a minute the cool part about this bait. Loving it. I had missed one right before that. And I think my he got my minnow, and uh, then this one came in and, and uh, about five minutes later and cr crushed him. She's gone, come on. There she, come on. There she goes. Hey, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week we're definitely using a lot of the herky jerky minnows and chubs in, but the key has been tipping it with either a minnow head or a full minnow. Um, what you do is basically when you are going to tip it, I always take the, the, the treble hook on the bottom of the bait, never put any bait on the back of it on the single hook here, always on the treble hook, and I hook it on the hook that goes forward. So I'll grab a minnow out of here, just like that. And what happens once that bait gets in the water, I'll show you it'll have that minnow laying flat the same way parallel with the, the bait itself. Hey, the big thing too, if that minnow's not hooked right, a lot of times it'll hook the back hook and it's just not gonna look natural. So that's the biggest thing is once you hook that minnow on there, put it down in the water so where you can still see the bait and start jigging it so you know you got it hooked properly. Hey, again, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. You did have a couple of your buddies this morning that did real well south of here. Yep. So we're gonna go down and set up south and give that a shot. And they were fishing a lot shallower. You know, yeah. we've been fishing in that 22 to 30 feet of water. And you're saying that they're basically fishing anywhere from 12 to 14 yeah. feet. Yeah, I, I like fishing a little bit deeper, but that's where the fish are and then we'll fish it. Well, let's do this. We'll go down there, we'll set up our tip ups in shallow and then let's, you know, every we've got enough of us, let's start jigging on the break and start from like 16 down to about yeah. 26. Yep, I'd like to jig deep and put my tip ups on the top uh, uh, of the break. Or right on the top of the break. All right, that sounds good. Hey, that's the great part. We've got a couple of days to fish and uh, we're definitely not gonna stay uh, stationary. We're gonna be as mobile as we can and rock and roll. So up and out, hold on to your heinies. Right? All full, ready to go. Are we ready to go? Probably catch as many as I caught this morning. <laughs> right, you got a good point there. But we're gonna change that. Yep.
Hey everybody, I always talk about my favorite part about my job here, filming a new show every week. It's all the people that we meet along the way. And I'll tell you something, this week we've met another great person. Hey, I'll tell you what, what a passionate person you are. We've got to fish with you the last couple days. Hey, I'll tell you, you were telling Hunter and myself uh, uh, before that you actually go up to Alaska and guide all summer and you've been doing that for five years in a row now oh let's, yeah well i had a little break but okay let's talk about that a little bit yeah i uh i started out uh in college just wanted to get away and took off to the kenai river had a guy hire me and spent a summer up there and fell in love with it and uh came back and wanted to go back up and do it again see more of alaska so i had another guy Hired me, went over to the Nushigak River, did some fishing over there. And so what kind of guiding are you actually doing up there in Alaska? It's uh, primarily king salmon, okay. sockeye, silvers, we do trout, char, all species. So how many people do you take out at a time when you're fishing that? And is it in a boat or is it on shore? Oh, it's right now it's a little bit of both. We'll go okay. out uh, in the actual jet boat and usually just two to one guide ratio, but sometimes we'll have bigger groups and we're doing like hiking. Fishing. The scenery's got to be like unbelievable, huh? Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous. Just like living in a postcard up there. Hey, what's your uh, prediction for tonight? A good sunset. Uh, we just need those fish to cooperate. Right. So we'll see what this high pressure does. Well, them. you guys certainly last week had just some banner days out here fishing, huh? Sure have. Yeah, real thankful for them. Yep. Yeah. So let's see if tonight we can uh, duplicate one of them. We got uh, we got stable conditions now. Um, you know, we're fishing uh, a little bit different spot, um, and this water out here is just incredibly clear. I can't believe that almost in 30 feet of water, you can look through a hole and see the bottom. You know, that's that's pretty impressive right there. I mean, so these fish typically, again, we talked about this before, low light conditions. Right now, the sun's shining out there, so this bite probably won't happen until 6, 6.30, somewhere in there, um, and then, Probably if you wanted to stay out here all night long, you probably still have a ch shot at catching some fish, huh? Yeah, typically like when they say when the street lights come on, that's your little window to hit them, so. Game on. All right, man. Hey. Hey, thanks. Let's go catch some fish. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Yo, thanks for coming along with us. <laughs> Good fish out of a little bait of knock. I don't know, probably 11 pounds. I don't know how long, maybe 28, 29. What a beauty. Good fish on a tip up right there. Giant. Some bait of knock gold. Yep. Oh, the tush is good already. She smacks you. Yeah. Look, look, look how marked up she is. Nice job, man. Yeah, thanks a lot. That was awesome. Fish. Try to get them through the hole. Well set. Ice on there, man. I'll tell you what, man, oh man, it is definitely witching hour. Flags are going up. I just walked over there to film somebody else, and then also I looked, and the line was completely spooled. Oh, it is. Line's, yeah, that's a big fish. Nice. 
nice, man. <laughs> That's a little wicked. That was cool. It's a nice fish, man. Just kind of easier. Hunter, tell you, I just seen that fish come in. Boy, the tip ups have been flying like crazy, but a short window. Let me get my vexilla out of the way here. I kind of switched baits this time, too. Oh, oh, come on. Feels like good fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Just absolutely annihilated that. You know what? I love these mag custom rods, man. The action that you can get out of these baits is absolutely incredible. And again, another just absolutely beautiful, beautiful walleye here. And boy, that one pair you got just a little while ago was another real giant. I mean, that is a very, very cool place. Again, if you got the patience, and that's what it takes to come fish these fish for sure, and you're looking for big fish, catch and release definitely the place to go man oh man let's get this girl back in the water but hey it's still early i got plenty of time i'm on number two today this is number two for me today that's incredible loving that she goes gone look at that oh that is so cool gotta love it i'll tell you that i love fishing for giant walleyes you know especially this time of year it's just we're coming to the end of the ice season and it's just one of them kind of things, especially after fishing all winter on Winnebago and most of the fish when we were catching fish were 14 to 17 inches. So to see these absolutely giants, it just gets you pumped back up. All right, I got time for another one. Justin, feel like a good one? Oh, it's got a good uh, I thought you had all your lines pulled in already. Oh, we've got a lot of marinade a little while. Oh, I like your thinking there, for sure. Man, oh, there's some thumping going on there. Oh, that's a giant. That is, oh, oh, oh. Get his head turned, get his head turned. Oh, 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 oh. Gotta love it. Oh, oh, got him? You get him. Oh, 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 dude, that is absolutely awesome. Look at that, man. That is absolutely beautiful. You don't come out here and think you're gonna catch limits and limits of walleyes, but what you're looking for is that right there, true trophy walleyes. I just love, again, the color on these fish, and when you look at the girth, you know, very, very cool. Gotta love it. Hey, maybe we should put the tip-outs all back out now that it quieted down in here and stay here. Let them marinate a little yeah, longer. Yeah, I'm under liking the moonlight. It. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's get her back in there and uh, uh, for another day, somebody else can catch that trophy. Out of here! Oh, Ooh, there she goes. Nice job, I'll tell you. This is what it's all about. Trophy walleye fishing. All right, back out early in the morning, four in the morning. I'm down to come early. Yeah, I'm. Let's yeah. go. Cause we're not gonna fish in the evening, right? No, I mean. We will just fish tomorrow morning yeah, and call her. Yeah. Yep. He was bigger at first, but just a good fighter. So have a little flag indicator, and then I leave my uh, bait. I like fighting them on rods, so I leave my spool open, super smooth. They could take it; they won't feel it, and you get to still fight them on a rod. So, so this is uh, I made a 44-inch medium heavy. I typically would use this for like lake trout or something. 
but uh, it's perfect for doing what I'm doing here. It has a nice long rod, have a good bend to it for the head shakes for some of the bigger fish. And it's uh, my favorite way to catch these fish. There he goes. Go do some spawning and let's catch another one. Hey everybody, what a great experience we had this week up at Bait and Knock. You know what, I thought for sure that last morning that we were gonna hook into a bunch of fish, but Pat got the only one, but it was still an awesome time. Hey, appreciate everybody watching the show this week, and like I always say, just remember, it's a great day to be alive, and I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> Might have left my gloves on the heater a little too long. <laughs> what am I saying? What are you saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I, th I guess what I'm saying is I think it might pop there to burn. So it's very important to make sure, hey, when you come out here and you, uh, these bites are so short, you want to make sure that your pop tarts are all done ahead of time because you definitely don't want to be burning and eating pop tarts during the peak of the window here. <laughs>